Prime, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the New Mexico Lobos and the Horn Frogs of TCU. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this college football season as we continue to bring all the excitement with this game. And here come the Horn Frogs. The Horn Frogs should have their way with this team. Kirby, why don't you tell us about their star? New Mexico has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Really? In my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? I love the horn frogs in this one. <laughs> this game just wouldn't be the same without you, Coach. Let's go down for the coin toss. It's just hard to block him. It seems like he gets in on every single play. Yep, but it's not too often that he goes up against the running back of this caliber, Coach. It doesn't matter, Coach. This kid is a tackling machine. We were watching him in practice, and let me tell you, I don't know how many times he ran this play right there against the first-team defense and got huge, and I mean huge yards. Yeah, you're right, Coach. It's one of their favorite plays, and you can see why right there. today and put the ball in the end zone a few times. You never know what you're going to get from these guys. One game they're great, the next, horrible. I'm hoping they play well today. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. Team with four wide receivers on play action. He's looking. He passes it. Found his man. Down the sideline. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. And he's in there. Touchdown. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a feet back as they line up in the eye. Play fake. Rolls right. Looks. He zips it. Caught. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job. Come out of the ace formation. Dalton fakes the handoff. Dalton lets it fly. Yo. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can kick his way so well through defense. Drops back to pass. Looks. He rolls out to the left. No one open, so he's going to run. Brought down at the 36. Five, maybe six yards. Christian gets it on the counter. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. And I believe that run right there puts him over the century mark. It sure did, and he is really running hard today. This guy has great... Shiver on the inside handoff. They'll bring him down at the 45. They'll still be short. Of the down. They didn't have far to go, Brad, but it didn't matter. Because this defense was ready for them. And now it's fourth down, Coach. It's a pass on third and short. He'll dump it short. Catches it. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Wideouts here. Tries to juice. And he's taken down at the 48. In backfield. Butler gets the carry. Gets past the tackler. And they make the stop at the 41. Option right. Ball is loose. Fumble. Recovered by the defense. And the defense got on it quickly. That was a heck of a play by the big one. 
Sure was, Kirk. It's not too often those big... Dalton dropped back to pass. He's in trouble. Dalton gets sacked for the loss. We're through one quarter, and the score is TCU 14, New Mexico 7. In a five-wide set, stepping up, looking, lets it fly. It's a tip drill, and he's taken down at the 36. Timing and right there, it paid off. Steps up, looking, throws it, and he's got him again. At the 40, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. No surprise here, guys, with this receiver coming down with it. Yeah, that's his 10th touchdown reception this year. This guy is always in the end zone. Horn Frogs are lining up with three receivers. Option to the right. Mills with the tackle at the 46-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good instincts. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and Frog come out in the ace formation. Inside you, and he's stopped behind the line. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. Not Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Missed tackle. Rolling out to the right side. Number 15. Slings it at the 40. He's all the way down to the 47. He drops back, steps up. They bring him down. He'll feel that one in the morning. You bet he will. I mean, just look at that guy that sacked him. He's a monster. I could have swore I felt the earth shake when he hit the ground. Showing three wide. Dalton drops to throw. Dalton delivers. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect... Goes with the ace set here. Dalton fakes the handoff. He's rolling right. He throws. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. The lineup made a good-looking grab there. Frogs come out of the ace formation. Dalton still has it under heavy pressure. Dalton is sacked. TCU will take their first time out of the half. Team with three wide receivers back to pass looking and they got it TCU will call a timeout and we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked up with trips to the right Rolls to the right, surveys the field, and he's going to come up with a sack. Comes out in the shotgun. He rolls out to the right. He's looking. He rifles it. Hits his man in stride. And that tackle's going to save him six. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. at the 13. Looking for six. Touchdown, TCU! What a run. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This kid is a coach's dream. He runs hard. Always finds his way into the end zone. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He flings it over the middle, and this one falls incomplete. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. It up. And that is a big, big turnover. It looks like to me that someone got the helmet on that ball. Red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. 
Let's see if the defense can hold him this time. He's got his tight end. And down he goes at the eight-yard line. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice... We've played three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. TCU, 21. New Mexico, 14. Rolls right, looking. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. William with the tackle at the six-yard line. That play fake, good for five yards. It's up, and he missed it right. No good. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. He'll take it himself. There's a very impressive open field tower. Set up in the gun. Dalton drops to throw. And he brings it down. And he's taken down at the 46. What a vertical. He just ripped that ball out of the sky. Hey, Kirk, you know what? That leaky catch reminded me of my days when I was playing for Florida State. They hand it off. The ball came free. And they fall on the loose ball. This fumble puts him right back into it. You bet it does. Now they've got the football and momentum. Look at the throw. Stepping up. Let's it fly. And that's his receiver who's wide open. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of all, walking the pass. The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And when the quarterback releases the football, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's Brown on the handoff. They'll bring him down at the 17. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the go. Comes to the line with three wide. Guns it to the end zone. Got his man. Touchdown. And that's a second time today these guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks comfortable in that end zone, doesn't he? They don't get the two. One man in the backfield. Fakes to the back. He looks. He passes it. Caught. Brought down at the 48. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff throws the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice high formation. Used to the tailback. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. Ten yards is five. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. It kept this defense on the field. Here's the option. Wants to throw outside. Picked off. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. Often, yeah, and sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste the time out. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. New Mexico played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, TCU 21, New Mexico 20. This is Brad Nessler with Kirk Kirk Street and Lee Corso. We thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time.